Okay, I'm going to talk about this chrome now. What keeps partial dentures in? It's not just clasps. Um, please, nobody say suction because you don't get suction when you've got hard tissues against hard denture base. So, this cobalt chrome we were talking about earlier on, um, what keeps this in is a combination of issues. The thing that most people forget um, is the fact you get frictional retention from guide surfaces. So if you can make the denture base touch um, aspects of the abutment teeth, this only works on bounded saddles, so if you can make the denture uh, in intimate contact with that area, this surface, this surface and this surface, you've got frictional retention which is going to aid um, the denture base staying in without the clasps. And in addition, as you can see this chrome, we have, and I'll show you again in a minute, we have uh, palatal surface contact on these three teeth and this tooth here. Everything is going to contribute and give frictional retention. So that's how denture bases can be uh, retained without clasps. So we're going to use clasps, but bear in mind we're going to use frictional um, denture base in intimate contact with the teeth for retention initially. So we'll now show you how this works. So we surveyed the cast and created a guide surface there, or a guide surface existed. It's, it's parallel to this surface here and this surface here. So we've got three parallel surfaces. That's going to uh, aid retention. So the denture base you'll see is pretty retentive just by clicking on. So we've got frictional surface retention all around the palatal aspects of these three teeth and this tooth here. And in addition, We've got guide surface retention there and there. Um, we're now going to talk about the clasps as a separate short video. So retention is coming from, as I say, contact surface, contact surface, contact surface over here. And the palatal aspects of the abutment teeth on the right hand side and the palatal aspect of the molar tooth on this side. Now, this was a bridge abutment. I don't know what's underneath it. I don't know how robust it is. So as I said the other day, and somebody expressed surprise, hence the explanation now, you lightly clasp teeth. Now lightly clasp means don't engage too much undercut uh, and use flexible clasps. So clasp arms are and should be thin and tapered towards the tip, so they're flexible. The more flexible they are, the less stress they'll put on the teeth and the patient. So. Lightly clasping means don't engage too much undercut and make the clasps thin, flexible, particularly the eye bar here. So the cross section makes a difference. Round wires will flex better than D-shaped section. And you don't need to engage much undercut on these molar clasps because we have the frictional guide surface retention provided by the denture base against the teeth. As I say, it only works on bounded saddles. So you can't use this as an example on free end saddles, but that's the way you get retention so the more frictional surface retention you've got, the less clasping you need and it puts less stress on the teeth and the patient.